Hello YouTube, this is the Barnacle Fan and I'm doing another review because I got a request in the comments from the last video which I did the Gate Guardian from Axel Bro. Yeah, Axel Bro. Who suggested that I could do some more combiner, Barnacle Combiner reviews. So I decided to start off with Voparak. He's from the same year as the Gate Guardian, 2005. He's made up of Rudaka, Sidorak and Kitongu and uses a fairly equal amount of pieces from all three of those. There has been quite a few reviews of this before, um, but kind of quite a mixed responses to this guy. Um, I'll start off with his backstory anyhow. Uh, he's a Dark Hunter, a huge and powerful Dark Hunter under the service of the Shadowed One. At some point he got mutated on or experimented on by the Dark Hunters um, and got given Rudaka's Rituka spinners and everything and he had the power to age any object or other being rapidly so they sort of you know crumbled to dust because they aged so quickly until they disintegrated um, and his Rituka spinners had the power to do that as well but, and that's pretty awesome and I think it looks absolutely fantastic as the set I mean some people don't like Voprak but I can't see what their beef is to be honest. From what I've gathered watching reviews of this guy on YouTube, people don't like him as much as the other combiners such as the Shadowed One because uh, there's nothing uh, immediately interesting about him or eye-catching about him. Um, hang on a minute, I'll just add another the two spin-ups of the... Uh... Here we go. Yeah, he's got like two extra arms above his shoulders where he can have his Rituka spinners. That's pretty badass. I always like something going on on the shoulders on Barnacle sets to look pretty cool. And I always try and incorporate them on my mocks um, to make them look bigger and more imposing. And I think that works well because Voprak is one of the biggest combiners. I mean, it's got, I think it came out with something like 649 pieces. Definitely over 600 pieces, I know that. So that makes it one of the biggest Barnacle combiners to date, um, alongside Cardass and all that sort of stuff. Uh, his feet are just one of the most impressive builds I've ever seen. Absolutely huge, the like, ugh. I mean, all the pieces that constitute that foot, it's really good. Um, but you'd expect that from something made up of three titans. His head, very awesome. It's like Varky head with a blade. Above the top of it. I'll give you a better look if you can. There we go. So that's his head build. It's got piping that runs across, so it ends in these two blades, and it's got the non prod still blade um, that's attacked like a horn, and orange eyes, and connected to those are ways, is where the piping begins. And it's also got a little mouthpiece, I guess. Um, underneath his jaw, I suppose that could be like a fang or I don't know. His weapons, I mean, apart from his Rituka spinners, he's got, I guess, he's got these arm blades which connect underneath. His arms are just, ugh. these these are quite weird arms. I mean, they don't really follow a basic build which is common in many of the Bionicle sets. Shit, that Rituka spinners fell off, ignore that. Yeah, it starts off with the Varky piece. And it's got these short limbs and then the Rakshi limb piece after that. And it's got a connector on the limb piece, similar to what's found on Kitongu, to be honest, where he's got his rotating shield. Similar sort of setup to that. And it's ended in the Pohatu climbing claws. Same for the other hand. I mean, yeah, you can't complain for the lack of armour. He's got Axon armour in black there. He's got Borok, uh, Karl hand, you know, the acid shield, whatever it's called, on the side. That black Rudaka piece from the Rudaka set. Um, and he's also got where his leg splits as well, which makes him really sturdy. Uh, helps with his stability. And he's got his chest plate. Um, mostly comes from his silver toe metro foot. Um, criticisms. Hmm, I can't really find many to be honest, it's pretty cool, uh, maybe, I don't know, the colour scheme just seems a bit sort of willy-nilly, it's like all over the place, you know, it, it doesn't look very ordered or anything, it doesn't, 
I suppose you could say at a pinch that it doesn't look very professional, you know, because it looks maybe like, like a mock where people just fuse loads of colours together. And, you know, if you didn't know beforehand, you could have guessed that was a fan-made mock. Um, but it isn't. It's an official combiner. Voprak, awesome sounding name, obviously. Um, I've told you his powers. Rituka spinners are a nice addition. Obviously, it's 2005, so he will come with Rituka spinners. Similar sort of thing to what Rutaka's got with his claws on the end of his hand. He's got a red claw and uh, two silver claws either side. Let's give him some extra oomph when fighting, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much it for Voparak. I've gone over his legs and his hands and his head and everything. I'll give you a look at his uh, the back of him. So he's got the red Matoran piece directly behind his head area. That comes from Sidorak. Another Pahatu climbing tool there for extra armour. And there you can see the uh, black Toametru limbs for his legs that split off to give him extra stability. But if you get a close look at him you'll just see he's just chock full of pieces all integrated within his legs and everything. Um, very complex, very um, impressive build, definitely. Um, but as I say, that can sometimes maybe go again, work against the combiner as a whole because it doesn't look all that professional sometimes. But, you know, I think it's uh, pretty good. Very tall, uh, hard to probably fit into your collection. I mean, I can barely fit him on my shelf because his head catches on the, you know, the bottom of the next shelf. Overall, that's Voparak. I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably do a Paraka combiner next. Yeah.